Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're taking a look at 10 free Roku channels with a wealth of movies and television shows, 100% free with ads, and even a couple without ads. So we're gonna dive into that moment. I hope some of these videos will help even old Roku users that maybe have tried out a lot of them, discover something new still. And I hope this helps new Roku owners discover the wealth of content available on your Roku. Now, if you're new here, do me a favor though real quick, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We do all kinds of videos about Roku's, core cutting, and ways to save money on the shows you like to watch. So hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, helps us a lot because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we're doing. Hopefully we can help you. Well, let's dive into it because there's so much content out there to check out. And it's really been growing. Roku's been adding a lot of new content and so has their um, free streaming channels. Now this is Pluto TV. You probably heard of it, but a few months ago it was purchased by Viacom as it loads here real quick. And now Viacom owns it and has added a ton of their content. So you can see here, um, they have a spotlight channel playing Popeye, they have British TV, which was recently added. A lot of BBC content's been added. Um, including classic Doctor Who episodes and a lot of Viacom content. So you have a lot of stuff from MTV, VH1, um, Spike TV's back. They brought back the Spike TV name with a lot of the content that was on Spike in the past and more. Even um, things like Nickelodeon has some content in here. So they have both live linear channels, news channels are on here, sports channels are on here for free, and they even have on-demand movies and TV shows with ads here, and big name content. I mean, Unsolved Mysteries, Dog the Bounty Hunter, Hell's Kitchens, to name a few of the TV shows, new movies, a good collection of movies, both recent and older, so keep that in mind. Um, so that's Pluto TV. It's probably one of the most recommended when I talk to core cutters, but there's a lot of others. And one of them that's 100% free is Hoopla. And there's another service just like this called Canopy. And this is um, apparently logged out of it. Um, but this is a free streaming service from your public library. And with this, you can go on there if your public library supports it, use your library card to log in, create an account, and now you're watching movies and TV shows for free without ads. Now Canopy and Hoopla are the two of the largest. They're both available on Roku. I demonstrated um, Hoopla here just to keep the numbers down. But I would highly recommend you ask your public library if they have it. And even if they don't have a streaming service or that's offering TV and movies, a lot of them have audiobooks, music services, and more. Plus there's probably DVDs in your library that are a great option. So check out Hoopla as a great option there. One of the things I get asked most about is watching local news. There are many different ways to do that. One of them is NewsOn. NewsOn is a service that partners with many local TV stations to stream both live and re-airs of local news. And they also have a whole breaking news section, which I love here. Right now, there's when I'm recording this, there's that small tropical storm that may be coming a hurricane hitting Louisiana. And as you see here, they have local TV stations from that area. So Lafayette, Baton Rouge, New Orleans here, and more streaming for free on your Roku. I love this feature because often local stories like this are best covered by local news. So keep that in mind here as uh, a great way if there's ever a major news event in a town or a weather event, this could be a way to watch it. But it will by default try to use your IP to show you your locals here. And it shows both live and on demand recordings of news. So if you miss your local news, it will replay the most recent one, which is uh, mine is Texas Today at 6 a.m. will replay here. So that's pretty cool. And that can go down and look at bigger areas, Byron, Texas, um, San Antonio, Austin, I think has some, Dallas and more. So it seems like San Antonio has most of their TV stations streaming on here. We'll even give you a rough idea of how far away. You can even sort it by uh, area. So if you, let's say, are from Alabama, you can go in here and say, hey, I'm from Alabama. Let me scroll down and find my hometown and see what stations are available, for example. So really cool. News on is another one. A few other ways to get local news for free. Make sure you enter your call um, TV stations call letters, like WOOD for NBC in Grand Rapids, Michigan, to see if they have an app on your Roku. It's a pretty um, great option. I find a lot of TV stations not only will be in something like Haystack or News On, but they also have a standalone app of their own for Roku. So check that out. All right, next one up is kind of one representing a few different services like Crackle and Tubi. They're both really great on-demand movie 
and TV services. Both do not require a login. You do not need an account, but they will ask you if you have one. If you create an account, you can do things like save shows, start watching a show and finish it later. A lot of TV shows like Bachelor in Paradise is here, but also a lot of movies and all kinds of content from around the world. Some of this content you will find will be similar. Hell's Kitchen, Duck Dynasty and stuff may appear in other ones. But a lot of this content is exclusive to Tubi or exclusive to Pluto, etc. So keep that in mind. But if you're looking for maybe a movie you wouldn't pay for, hey, my kids wanna watch Charlotte's Web, I'm not willing to pay for it, but hey, it's free with ads, they don't seem to mind. You know, yours, mine, ours, problem child. A lot of these are maybe content that you wouldn't necessarily pay for, but hey, if you just wanna watch a movie with your kids, with ads, it's great. So check this out, Pluto, uh, excuse me, Pluto TV has a lot of this, Tubi, Crackle's another one. They all have their own content that may not necessarily be included on what the others have, so keep that in mind. Next up is Stir. Stir is a, probably the newest one on this list maybe, is a free ad supported one from Sinclair that also includes a lot of sub channels like Comet, Charge, Buzzer. You know these channels you get with your antenna that um, you may not have been able to get um, on a like a streaming service, for instance, on YouTube TV, for example. But you can see they have live TV here. It will also ask you where you live. It's picking up Austin as my local market, so I got local news here. But I can go in here and look at Law & Crime Network, Big Life TV, Stir, and more. But they also have a traditional channel guide in here. Currently, there's, I think, about 30 different channels. They say more is on the way soon. And if this channel guide loads here, here you go. You can see they have like Cheddar News, Stir TV, Buzzard here, Password, Password, Super Password, the Dove Channel, Charge, Comet, great um, sci-fi, same with Dust. And they've been doing pop-up channels, like here's a 24-7 Unsolved Mystery Channel, Con TV, and more. So a lot of different channels, Docurama for um, documentaries, Stadium for sports news, poker, even um, the T, which is content from the tennis channel, which is pretty good. Combat Go, Outdoors, and more. All kinds of content here. They promise they're gonna keep adding more content. They wanna to get to 50 different um, networks on this at one time for stir. They also have on-demand content. So check out stir. I really love watching Buzzard on it and other things. All right, the Roku channel. Now this is owned by Roku. This is Roku's free streaming service. That includes a ton of content. Again, some of this may be the same, some of it won't. But you find it's some good name content. This is Doubtfire, The Fugitive, even live channels. Like Weather Nation is now on the Roku channel and more. Newsy, People TV, Newsmax, and more. So FilmRise has a bunch of channels on here live now. So does Yahoo News and Finance is now available there. You can even go and manage your subscriptions to things like HBO, Showtime, Stars right through here. But then they have the traditional on-demand movies, um, which you can see. Good collection of movies, TV shows, a lot of classic um, TV shows like Charlie's Angel, The Nanny, and more here. Um, Short Circuit, another one. Hey, I may want to watch that with my kid. May not want to actually pay for that. So check it out. Another great option here for your Roku. All right, let's keep moving along. A few more real quick. CBS News is one I want to talk about. So CBS News has 24-7 live news streaming. ABC News and others are like in the Roku channel and more. With everything kind of happening, um, you never know when there may be a big major event that you may want to get a quick news bite on. I recommend having something like CBS News or maybe watch it through Pluto or maybe ABC News, etc. through the Roku channel and more. I recommend you have at least one of these channels here so that if the time ever comes where you want to say, hey, something happened in the world, I want to see what's happening, you already have a free news option. CBS News is not your option. Check out one of the other great news services out there. I threw this up here as an example because there's so many news um, outlets streaming for free like Newsnet and more on the Roku. One other service that's a lot like Pluto TV, and they're kind of neck and neck, a lot of people like both of them, and why not get both, is Zumo TV. Zumo TV gives you access to both live and on-demand um, lists of content here. Um, so you get this channel guide, and you can see a ton of channels here. Some of them are exclusive to Zumo TV. Some of this you won't find on other um, free services. And it allows you to browse here to watch news and more wired. CNET's on here, 
popular science and more. But they also, again, have uh, movies as an on-demand category here. So you can scroll through the different movies here to see everything available. So I highly recommend, again, it hurt, doesn't hurt at all, a movie I've never heard of, War of the Worlds 2, The Next Wave. Never even knew that was a movie until this exact moment. But a ton of great content, documentaries, classics, and more, all available through Zumo TV, 100% free. And don't be afraid to have multiples of these. There's no limit on the number of channels you can have on your uh, Roku, so check it out. Next up is Vudu. Um, a lot of people think of Vudu, which is owned by Walmart, as an exclusive place to buy movies and TV shows and or rent them. But they also allow 100% free content with ads. They've been really up in the quality of this recently. But you can see you got sales, but then you got this whole row here of um, uh, oop, it's free with ads. There we go, if I can get to it, of free with ads. You can see just a ton of different content here um, Flyboys and more. So really good quality, highly recommend you check it out. And I would also check out Voodoo as another option. Rather use iTunes, Amazon, Google Play. Um, sometimes they have different sales. Right now the office is on sale on Voodoo, cheaper than it is on sale on Amazon or iTunes, for example. So keep that in mind, take advantage of their free movies, but also keep an eye on their sales because sometimes Amazon will have the best price sometimes iTunes, and sometimes Voodoo will have the best price. So keep that in mind. And the last channel uh, I wanna recommend on all these Roku channels is Amazon Prime Video. Again, you're probably saying, Luke, this is a store. You are right, but Amazon recently launched something called IMDB TV, which offers free movies and TV shows. Now there's a few ways to access that on here. Now you can add it as a um, as a channel, you can go in here, right here to IMDB TV, this is my recommended way. Or you can keep scrolling down and hope to find the IMDB channel. But in here, you'll find a ton of movies and TV shows. They just announced uh, partnerships with more movie studios to bring a lot more content in. And again, 100% free, watch My Girl, watch La La Land, a uh, very well-respected TV show, or movie, excuse me, Warehouse 13 from the Sci-Fi Channel, a lot of absolutely great content here. So check it out. If you use Amazon Prime Video, here's one more way to access this content for free with ads. All right, let's do a quick recap of the different ones and why I recommend them real quick. Starting off with Pluto TV, huge catalog of content. Now that they're owned by Viacom, you'll find a ton of uh, Viacom content. And they've even added CBS, or excuse me, uh, BBC content and CNN content to Pluto TV. Hoopla or um, Canopy, two great free streaming services. Need a public library card, your public library needs to support this, so keep that in mind. News on, again, represent a whole category of news channels. Local news is streaming uh, from many different markets. I would be surprised if your local TV market doesn't have at least one station with a Roku channel here, or maybe available in something like News on. Tubi is a free, um, on-demand service, no live feeds, but it does include free movies and TV shows. Same with Crackle, recommend you check out both. Stir is a new one, includes, again, local news from Sinclair stations, plus a lot of those smaller channels like heck, Buzzard, Comet, and more. Even content from the Tennis Channel is streaming there. The Roku channel, very similar to Tubi from Roku, highly recommend you check it out. Make sure you have some type of news one. So if you ever have a major event, there's something happening in the world you wanna know about, CBS or ABC or whatever you may, maybe some of the independents like Newsnet, check it out. Zumo TV, great free um, service there with movies and TV shows plus channels again, live. And Amazon Prime and Vudu, these are movie stores that offer also offer ad-supported movies and TV shows, so check them out. I'll put a link to all these in the show notes down below so you can download them to your Roku. And I'd love to know, from the official Roku channel store, what would you add to this list? Leave me a comment, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Well, that's it for today. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it helps us a lot. Hopefully we can help you. And check back tomorrow for more core cutting news, tips, tricks, and how-tos. Take care, everybody.